What is going on guys? My name is Steve and this is the Bulldog Shock and Review. Many of you may have used this in infection and if you haven't used this gun at all, my advice, don't. I am going to be putting muzzle brake on and foregrip and I'm going to show you guys that the shotgun is still pretty awful even though it is semi-auto but compared to the other ones it's still definitely the worst. It has horrible range that, like worse than the FP6 and even the MTS 255. The MTS 255 I did a review on, so you guys can go and look at that video to see how it is. The FP6 I also did the review on, it was the first shotgun I did a review on. And I've done a video on the TAC 12, so if you want to check that out, go ahead and click on my channel and find it. But moving on, we got the basic perks no real damage boosting or anything, reload on the go sort of stuff, and just kind of move faster. So I'm going to go ahead and get into the gameplay, showing you guys what's going on. So I'm going to start off talking about the reloading. The reloading on this gun is really strange. I still don't understand exactly how this works or what kind of ammo it uses because they take a tube and he pulls it out of the front, takes another one from it, puts it in. So I'm not really understanding all that. It's almost like it's he's having like weird sex with the gun. If, like, look, he reloads like that. So I don't really understand it, how exactly that's reloading, but it's kind of whatever. Definitely not the map for me to be using this on, though. But for six shots for a semi out of shotgun, it's not the best, but it's also not the worst. The MTS has a, sm I was going to say shorter and smaller at the same time, but it's a smaller clip, definitely a lot shorter. But... For power, the MTS is probably a little bit better than the Bulldog. The Bulldog is more of a really panicky sort of shotgun, as soon as you guys will see if I can find somebody. Um, I mean, it's it's kind of like the shotgun that wasn't wanted, with how bad, oh my god. Friendly satcom Can't go anywhere without anybody being here. It's like I was trying to say, it's the shotgun that nobody wants. Because it's just, it's an awful... I can't go anywhere to get... Oh my god. You can't really do a whole lot when people are at that range and you don't have a secondary. So... It's panic shoot sort of thing, and you kind of have to use all your ammo to make sure you'll get a kill. That's the one main part that really sucks about this. I mean, it doesn't... It definitely does have some range. It's a lot more than the FP6, even with the muzzle brake, the FP6 was awful. So don't be afraid to choose this over the MP6. Just please don't use the MP6. And see if I can get a kill on this guy. Yep, I actually did. It's actually turning out to be a better shotgun than I thought. I just pissed that guy off. He said, what the fuck? But I mean, all the other games I played, it was just a standard standalone shotgun. It's not that great. So if you're going to use a shotgun, please put a muzzle brake on it at the minimum. I have a grip on this, so it's a little bit better, more accurate hip firing. But it's definitely not going to be the best. So definitely don't shy away from this shotgun if you're looking for a shotgun to use. It's not the worst, but still pretty bad. i take this over the MTS because of the size and how fast you can shoot it. And it definitely has a higher um, firing rate than the other shotguns. The MTS is not the slowest, but it's slower, and, oh my god, I hate that guy. Friendly satcom um, where was I? Oh yeah, the FP6 is the slowest, because it's pump. Tac-12, I have to say, is the third, or no, it's, the, probably, it's probably the second slowest. And this is probably the fastest. But reload-wise, it's really fast, like the MTS. They're sort of all-around clip, all-clip reload. You got the one hit kill if you're close enough to him. So it's not terrible, but I definitely choose the TAC 12 over it because of the range. This could use better range, but it's definitely not the worst. I'd give it rank two for the best shotguns over the others. So please take this into consideration when you're using the shotguns. It's. Oh, dog. Uh, yep, can't reload fast enough. But you might want to keep the speed reload on because. It kind of really r slow reload when you don't have it on. So I think I pretty much covered everything in this review. The iron sight's pretty basic. You don't really ever use it though when you're hip firing. The 
uh, extra ammo, like the reserve clips, perfect amount. It's it carries about six more shots than the TAC-12, but the main clip is smaller, so that's the one downside to it. Uh, this is an extremely mobile shotgun, which is nice. It helps keep you moving fast and keeps you on your feet, so you can just do that whole run and gun sort of stuff. It can piss people off, like that guy. He's been hating me this entire game. So I hope all of you have found some use to this, and I hope all of you can do me a huge favor. It takes about three seconds of your time. Click the like button, hit subscribe for more of the Call of Duty Ghost stuff, early game releases, and a whole bunch of other awesome gaming videos and non-gaming videos. Uh, other than that, there's not really much to say. If you guys could, please share this on your social media, like Facebook, Google+, Twitter, all those fun things. And hold on, I'm trying to kill this guy. I got him, sweet. Anyways, um, yeah, like I said, please click the like button. It takes very little to no time at all. And it would do me a great help. So once again, I hope you all enjoyed. Like I said, please click the like button and subscribe. And I will hopefully see you guys in my next video.